system. Okay, we're about to uh, put the coating on the deck of this kayak. We did the bottom this? yesterday. It's all dry. This what is this? I don't know, but you have time to take that off. But just about to do the first coat here. It's all about the pour. My cards from yesterday just cleaned it. I'm not worried about the cockpit at the moment. We're going to get that later on the second or third coat. Just trying to get this big batch out. We did mix a six and three. Six ounces of the part B and three of the part A. There's a little bit of color in here, the rare earth pigment. The color is natural sienna. Just put a little bit in just to take some of the harsh white off this cloth. And when it yellows, it'll be a more mellow color. Notice I have the kayak. It's just uh, balance on the horses away from me to make more level. And I'll flip it now that I do this side. So instead of trying to balance it level like most people do, I like to take advantage of the lift. Find it easier to put on with a level surface like this. The center seam we're going to get with a brush later. And I'm working, pressing it into the weave. Of course, I have the bevel side of the card down all the time. I never use the other side. I like to pour the material kind of in a blob in front of me and I, not too much of course, I have a little bit too much here. I'll keep that from falling on the floor, I'll put it on the other side for the second coat. extra material here I'm just gonna flatten it out and try to cart it right on this side okay still have material left I'm gonna go right to the second coat I'm just gonna keep orbiting around wet on wet try to be a little more careful this time hitting the spots I miss working it into these silver threads It's hard to get spots around the front of the combing. We'll get with the brush later. A little extra in here. I'll just move it to the back. The idea is many thin coats. It's much better. Material fall off the side. I'll just blend that in. More. 
a little bit goes a long way. This is the 850 original cloth we're using. Okay, thanks. I get a, a bead right in front of my car and I pull it right out rather than dribbling a little bit all over the boat. Do you want to get a brush ready? Yeah. So, I don't know how long we've been running here, a few minutes, and I've got two coats on already, thin coats. Yeah, and I've got a little bit left, and I'm going to pass this over to Roger. I'm going to have him look at what we did yesterday. If you noticed here, there's a couple of dry areas. Look for any pinholes, and I'm going to have him start brushing down the center seam and working his way back. And meanwhile, we'll let these two coats here tack up a little bit, and we'll go to the third and fourth coat, and it'll be finished. Here's your stuff, Roger. So why don't you uh, systematically start in the back so you know you hit everything, and just work your way right down the line. That's the best way, you don't have to go back. There's a little dry area we missed yesterday, we'll make sure we hit it. Okay. Right there and there. I'll inspect carefully for little pinholes, like right here I see one. A little pinhole there, 